We're just one win away from hoisting the trophy and turning this program all the way around. Can we get it done? Uh, yeah, uh. Bitch, I've been the man, the man since 89. Came up out my mama with goals I had to grind. That was mind over matter, pay niggas, no, never mind. Back on my bullshit, Michael Jordan in 45. I got what you need, you need, just get in line. One time got caught slipping, got caught up by one time. Had my face all in the paper, but tears to my mama eyes. We was on the block, boy, no JB, we looked alive. Shoot the dice on the F. I lost it, then made it back. Bet it up, double that. Head crack, head crack. Get the cash, get the ass. Steve Nash with the pass, got the drive, no crash. Only do beef with the. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to our Seton Hall College World Series MVP 07 Rebuild Dynasty. Here we are, season number three, College World Series final. One win away from, from winning it all, and we just picked up our 50th win last season. 50 and 13. I believe we have the best record in the country. If I had to, if I had to say so myself, I think we might be the only 50 win team this year. You see here in the top 25, nobody else is even close. The closest team has 42. All right, guys. So we're going to go with Jacob Jordan on the mound today, but John Johnson is available in relief. Even though he pitched a complete game, you see here his stamina is still a one which means he's ready to go and he's willing to do whatever it takes for us to pick up this W. You see here, take a look at the starting lineup. Pimentel's a little sluggish, but like I said, he's wanting to suck it up here in this series. Get over it. Tell it to tape, Jacob Jordan, 339 ERA, 10-3 on the season. Head, 363 ERA, 6-6 six six on the season. It's time to go, man. We are on the road today here, so, you know, we need to get these sticks going early. Welcome back to the playoffs. Today's game features the Seton Hall Pirates and the Arizona State Sun Devils. Here at the College World Series, this is an elimination game. You're watching EA's NCAA Baseball. This is Mike Patrick along with my co-host, Kyle Peterson. Hey, everybody. The junior is starting today. He has a four-seamer, a circle change, a hook, and a two-seam fastball. All right, guys, here we go. Pimentel leaning this off here from the left side of the plate. Ah, he pulls off of that one. Come on, baby. Come on, boys. We need to get this thing going early and often. Kleppinger turning on that one, baby. Let's go. Staying hot here. You see, you see the starting lineup. We got three guys with 10 or more home runs. Definitely a good look. Kyle Foster being one of them up here now with 14 on the year. Ah, he yanks that one into right field. Runners on first and second with just one dead. Come on, cleanup man, Rick Wright, do your thing. He excels in his righties. 89 power. Ah, you better, you better beat that out too. Break it up. Oh my goodness, he's so slow. And that one is, you know, shortly lived there as Rick Wright comes out and hits into a double play. All right, Jacob Jordan being one of the knuckleballers out here today. Giving up one hard hit to left. Oh, what a catch from Uriah Rice. Man, the speed we have in the outfield is unmatched, and I love it. It saves a lot of hits and a lot of runs, man, for sure. All right, two dead here in the first. Change up inside. Alex Hunter's there. Three up, three down, baby. Let's get it. Uriah Rice up the bat here now after that amazing catch he made in the first inning. Get down, ball. That's not getting down. Oh, it might. Yeah, the right fielder's on his horse. All right, Isaac, we say now. Let's get some base runners here. Oh, get that bunt down. Come on, ones. What do you say now? Ah, uh, we pull off of another one. All right, baby, we say now, kid. Oh, tries to get that one up the middle. Not the greatest of swings. Fatma isn't that fast, and it shows. Three up, three down for us here in this inning. This is a fast, fast-paced moving game. Both pitchers are, you know what I'm saying, attacking, not playing with these hitters, pitching the contact. You know, just trying to trust trying to trust their defense out here as we throw the knuckleball. Isaac's gonna be there. Can the corn one dead? Sean Hudspeth, their best hitter up the bat. He he had two hits last game. All right. Come on, Jordan. Change up. He looks at two straight pitches. Jacob Jordan has Huspeth off balance here, and I love it. 
Knuckleball inside, and we get the strikeout, baby. Let's go. All right, boys, we got two outs here in the bottom of the second. Pitching great out here right now is Jacob Jordan. He's not playing any games. He's seizing a moment and taking advantage of his opportunity, man. I love it. Two-seamer, he gets back-to-back -back strikeouts, baby. Let's go. All right, Ozzy, lead us off. Ah, he tries to turn on the fastball out in front. Come on, Hunter. We say now, kid. Way to turn on that one. You hit it hard. I'm not mad. You can't hit a ball any harder than that. Lineup turns over. Jacob Pimentel back up the bat here. Come on, 5-0. Ah, hit it where it's pitched, man. You pulled off of two straight pitches. Wheels, though, and he gets an infield single. That's his second infield single in as many games. It's not every day you see a catcher get infield singles, dog. Come on, Kleppinger. Don't make it go. Don't make it uh be for nothing. He gets a fastball and ah. All right, here we go. This game is cruising. We're cruising by here. Knuckleball inside. Good pitch. Everybody's off balance. Jacob Jordan is doing what he needs to do. His fastball should look faster now after the knuckleball. It does. We catch him looking straight once again. All right, here we go. Give me another strikeout. Yes, sir. Ringing up another one. Jacob Jordan is in a groove right now here early, man, as that one goes over. Jacob Jordan has all these hitters off balance right now. The knuckleball is working, and that one is hit up the middle. Isaac Johnson showing off the wheels. Wow. I told you, man. Speed kills out there. Change up inside now. Ah, he turned on that one. Get fouled. Never mind. Ozzy's there. Wow. He didn't make it look. He didn't make it easy, but he made the catch. Three, four, five coming up for us. All right, so Arizona State has another base runner here. Nobody out. They're gonna try to bunt him over. That first bunt does not get down. See if they try to bunt him over again. They do. We go up top of the fastball. He misses that. Way ahead with two dead here. Way ahead. O2 count. Get him. All right. Bad swing. Your ride is there. He's under it. One dead. Coming in with the, coming away with the fastball. We get the ground ball. Fop the two. Hunter to right. And we are unable to turn it, but we do get the lead runner. All right, one more, baby. One more out. Get out of here. He turns on that one. Please stay in the yard. Please stay in the yard. Please stay in the yard. It just gets out of here. Jacob Jordan gives up a home run. And Arizona State takes a 2-0 lead. J.R. Wilk. J.R. Whitaker. 354 feet was a wall scraper, but it all counts the same. All right, so this is going to be Jordan's last inning here. And this time he gets the ground ball to Kleppinger. We're out of here. Time to go to the ace out of the pin. All right, fellas, here we go. Rick Wright leading us off here in the seventh. We need these sticks to get going. Rick turns on one, hit it hard, but it's right to the third baseman. Come on, Uriah, baby. We need you. Turning on the changeup, but he hits it right to the shortstop. All right, Isaac, get us going here with a little two-out rally, baby. Get up the middle. Get up the middle. All right, we got 99 speed on, baby. That's dangerous. Fopma up the bat here. Turning on that right to the shortstop. He's going to go two. Oh, he throws it away, actually. Come on, Isaac Wills. It's going to take a perfect throw. Ah, uh, get back, get back. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. All right, we are in business. Runners on second and third. A single scores two. Come on, Ozzy. He turns on one against... Oh, wow. What a diving stop from the second baseman. What a play. I thought for sure we had a base knock there. Hey, man. Hats off. All right, guys. So we're going to the pin, bringing in John Johnson here. Want him to come through and hold it down. We cannot give up any more runs here. Good pitch. Oh, PFP. Run it over. One dead. Hudspeth up the bat here. He grounds out to, to uh, first base. All right, man. I told you this. For some reason, our sticks get quiet whenever we're in these games, man. Not our sticks, but we just don't score runs. We got to find a way to score some runs. Way ahead here. 0-2, 2 dead. See if we can get the strikeout. In the inning in style. Ah, he fouled it off. All right, man. Here we go. 
Slider away and we get the strikeout, boys. Let's go. Let's get these sticks going, man. 912. Come on, Alex. You're over two on the day. You're due for one. Top eight. Get oh my yo, we are smashing baseballs, dog. We're hitting them right at people every single time. That that hurts. Pimentel hits one back up the middle, though. I will take it. All right, we got somebody on with two dead. Well, one dead, excuse me. Come on, Kleppinger. Get down, ball. Get down, ball. I'm sending Pimentel to three. Runners on the corners with one dead. Let's go, fellas. Let's get it. Come on, man. Who's going to come through here? Kyle Foster, let's go. We need you. They come inside with the fastball. That was hit to the deepest part of the ballpark. And it gets out of here. Kyle Foster coming through with his 15th home run of the season, baby. Let's go. The senior coming through for his squad, man. Woohoo! I love it, dog. I love it. That was an absolute bomb. 420 feet to dead right center. Three for four on the day. And he picks up not one, not two, but three RBIs there with that swing. All right, guys. We're just three outs away from being crowned the champions. Our ace is on the mound. He gives up a single first play. I mean, first AB. It's all good. It happens. Hits happen. Now we just need a double play ball here. They're going to try to bunt him over. They get the bunt down. Pimentel fields, fires the first. All right. They take the sacrifice. We'll take the out. Slider away. That one's hit hard up the middle. Do they test Isaac's arm? They do elect to test it. He's dead. Oh, the throws offline, and Arizona State ties this one up. Wow. Isaac has one of the most accurate arms on the squad. Not there on that throw. So Arizona State is not going away by any means. Isaac Johnson, I mean, John Johnson has to make pitches here. All right, one more pitch. Way here, 0-2. It's the curveball. 100-2. Fought mother one, we're not going to get him. All right, we get the lead runner, though. One more out, and then we, then we can win it. We can win it in the bottom of the ninth. Get there, Isaac. Ah. All right, John. Let's go. We can't waste your arm. You got to you gotta get us out of this, baby. Here we go. Runners on first and second. Good pitch there. Coming inside with the curveball. The money pitch. Woo! Lofted out to left field. Uriah Rice is there. We're out of the inning, boys. Let's go win this one in the bottom of the ninth. 9-1-2. This is where we want to be. All right, so they take head out. They take their starter out for, uh, for Lonergan. Alex Hunter leads us off here in the top of the uh, 10th. Oh, God. So, I'm, I'm wrong. I keep thinking we are the home team. We are the away team. So, it was the... Oh, my goodness. My innings are all off right here. Let's go, fellas. Oh, Pimentel puts the charge into that one. Get out, ball. Get out, ball. Go on. Let's go. It doesn't get any bigger than that, baby. Pimentel with a big fly here in the top of the 10th, man. Let's get it, dog. All right, fellas. Clevenger up. Ah. He gets beat inside, but he's still able to muscle it out to the wall in right field. And he gets a double right after Pimentel's home run. And we have another runner in scoring position, baby. Two people up in the bullpen for Arizona State. Come on, uh, Kyle. You already got one today. Ah, uh, he hits it back up the middle. The pitcher's not going to be able to make the play. It's going to be an infield single for Kyle Foster. All right, Rick right up the bat here. Runners on first and second. He gets a fastball inside. He hits it the other way. I'm not sure what the second baseman was doing there, but okay. All right, Uriah Rice up the bat here. Bases loaded, one out. Come on. Ooh, come on, man. We can bust this game wide open with a base hit here, freshman. Come on, baby. You got it in you, dog. Let's go. He gets the fastball. He misses it, but it looks like it's going to drop down, and he's going to get two RBIs on that weak hit. Shout out to the freshman year, Ryan Rice, coming through as we bust this thing open, baby. Let's go. Timely hitting by everybody on the squad. Come on, John. Here's your 20th win. It's pretty much gift-wrapped it for you. You're not going to lose a three-run three lead, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go. One dead. Bottom 10. 
Good pitch there. Ground ball to Alex Hunter. We are now just one out away. Just one out away. Let's go. And a backdoor breaking ball for a strike. He drops down a bunt. The toss to the pitcher covering. And he's safe. Ground ball. Lester is on with a base hit. Whitaker is digging in. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball in tight. Fastball in there at the letters. It's this one towards short. Over to first. And that's the final out of the ball game. The series is over. Holy cow, have you ever seen a finish like that? The final score, the Seton Hall Pirates, six. The Arizona State Sun Devils, three. Well, it's a great win on the road in what really is a tough place to play. The crowd was in it the entire night, but the visitors really took it to the home team in the end and pulled this one out. This is Mike Patrick. Thanks for joining us for MVP 07 NCAA Baseball. Have a good night, everybody. All right, everybody. So we do the unthinkable. All right, guys. So we do the unthinkable. We get back to Omaha, Nebraska, back in the College World Series final, and we sweep our way to victory. This is huge, especially after getting swept last year. The bats really woke up late here in this game. John Johnson improves to 20 and 2 on the season. Lonergan moves down to 1 and 1. We had 13 hits. Pimentel had 3. Clepinger had 3. Kyle Foster had 3 with 3 RBIs. Uriah Rice had a hit with 2 RBIs. Pimentel had an RBI as well. Isaac Johnson also chipped in with 2 hits. Clepinger hits his 16th double. Pimentel hits home run number 13. Foster hits home run number 15. Both of those were, two, were huge. Both were go-ahead home runs. Pimentel gets 30, his 37th RBI. Uriah gets RBIs 21 and 22. Foster picks up 43, 44, and 45. Uriah Rice also picks up his 11th stolen base of the year. Um, you know, we don't really care about what they did hitting-wise. They did get a huge home run. Uh, Jacob Jordan gave up that home run, but uh, John Johnson came through and uh, held it down. Arizona State used three pitchers. Shoes, you know, stopped the bleeding after Lonergan gave up those three runs on four hits. Congratulations, Seton Hall is the 2009 College World Series champs. We go 6-1 and one here in the College World Series. 51-13 to 13 is our final record. It does not get bigger than this. You see here the John D. Dicing Senior Award goes to Senior D.H. Kyle Foster. He bats 6-15 here in the College World Series with four home runs. Nine RBIs, six runs scored on 16 hits, 607 on base percentage, batting a thousand, <laughs> slugging a thousand. So here we are, and we're gonna. So now here we are. We're gonna go over the uh, end of the season award winners here. These are the Baseball All America. Uh, all this is the Baseball All America All American team. We don't have anybody in the first team. We don't have anybody on the second team. But Isaac Johnson finds his way on the All American third team. That's a good look right there. Uh, all, all offensive team for Baseball America, we don't have anybody there. Gold Glove team, we don't have anybody there. Here we are. All conference Big East, we have all but. We have quite a few here on the first team. Pimentel, Wright, Clevenger, Roy, Johnson, Zaniga, Foster, Jordan, Daniel. And it's crazy that John Johnson isn't even on this list with 20 damn wins as a pitcher. That drives me crazy. Second team, Uriah Rice. And that's that. And third team, I don't believe we have anybody there. We do actually Dawson Halley, Vincent Ellisar, and D'Angelo Brandon. Big East All Freshman Team, Uriah Rice, uh, Jacob Jordan, Vincent Ellisar, and our boy Kenneth Page. Baseball All America Freshman All American Team, we don't have a first teamer. Uriah Rice makes the second team along with Jacob Jordan. And then third team, we don't have anybody to represent us. Freshman of the Year, Baseball America Freshman of the Year, we don't have anybody there. Greg Clemens is the freshman of the year. We actually faced him here in the College World Series. That dude is a beast. He's going to be nice. And Arizona State's ace, Chris Lofton, was also a freshman who went 9-1 this year. That's insane. The Roger Clemens Award goes to Jay Lyle, who was only 12-1 and on the year compared to John Johnson's 20-2. Still don't know how that man got snubbed. It drives me crazy. I did not mean to click out of that. Now, here we are, Conference Player of the Year. Isaac Johnson walks away with the hardware there. 327, 7 home runs, 35 RBIs, 49 uh, runs scored, 39 stolen bases. Wow. 70 hits, 
407 on base percentage, 542 slugging. Ozzy Zuniga, Kyle Foster, Rick Wright, and Pimentel all finished after him. Clevenger was seventh in voting. Baseball America Offensive Player of the Year, we don't win that. Most Outstanding Player Award, could, uh, same player wins that. Conference Pitcher of the Year, like I don't, I don't get how, I don't get how John Johnson isn't here. But Colin Daniel and Jacob Jordan finished second and third. Conference Freshman of the Year, Uriah Rice finishes third. Jacob Jordan finishes fourth. And then you see here, we are the College World Series champions. Kyle Foster wins the uh, the Dicing Award, which is the player of the tournament. Clevenger was actually second. He played really, really well as well. And it's crazy that John Johnson is even up here. <laughs> like, come on. He, all right, man. I'm not even going to get into that. Here is the all-college World Series team. Pimentel is the catcher. Clevenger is the third baseman. Uriah Rice is the outfielder. Kyle Foster is the DH. Jacob Jordan is the pitcher. But, you know, uh... John Johnson, who went undefeated here, is not on here, but D'Angelo Brandon makes the squad as well. And that's going to do it for all the awards here. Final batting average, final hitting stats for us, Ozzy Zuniga, 380, a home run, 41 ribbies. Rick Wright, 363, 10 home runs, 32 ribbies. Uh, Kyle Foster, 345, 15 home runs, 45 ribbies. Take a look at his career numbers here. 332, 44 home runs, 131 RBIs, 101 run score, three stolen bases. That's in three seasons here at a uh, at a uh, Seton Hall. Rick Wright in his three seasons, 319, 27 home runs, 99 ribbies, 92 run score. Ozzy Zaniga, 331, 78 ribbies, 76 run score, five home runs. Alex Hunter here on the season, 332 home runs, 30 ribbies. Let's see, he. Uh, his career numbers, 312, three home runs, 34 ribbies. Isaac Johnson in his three years, 324, 16 home runs, 74 ribbies, 129 run score, 106 stolen bases in three years. Wow. Anthony Kleppinger, you know what I'm saying? He was 312 this year, uh, five home runs, 28 ribbies. Jacob Pimentel, 288, 13 home runs. The 13th was one of the biggest ones of his career, 37 RBIs. John Roy, even though he was hurt, 277 on the year, five home runs, 24 ribbies in his career here, 275, 73 RBIs, 15 home runs, 79 runs scored. Uriah Rice in his freshman year, 265 home runs, 22 ribbies, and that's pretty much everybody else except for Zelly Cummins, who was a starter here at one point, and uh, he lost his job, and but he still walks away here with a ring. So here we go, final top 25. We finish as the number one overall team. Arizona State jumps up from five to three. Oklahoma State finishes two, Oregon State at four, Southern Miss, Stanford, Missouri, Tulane, South Alabama, Missouri State, Tennessee, Virginia, Gonzaga, Louisville, Louisiana Tech, New Orleans, uh, Long Beach State, Hawaii, Florida, Lehigh, North Carolina, UAB, Northwestern, Dayton, and Wake Forest. All right, guys, so here we are moving on to the offseason. Zelly Cummins graduates, Fatma gets drafted somehow, and uh, John Roy graduates. Ethan Stuckey's going to transfer. Kyle Foster didn't get drafted. We all know that's BS. He's going to get picked up somewhere. And same thing for Colin Daniel. Uh, so, you know, we knew the rest of these seniors were leaving. Didn't really expect Ethan Stuckey to leave. But I can understand being that, you know, he's just trying to play. Player progression here. Anthony Klebinger goes up. Um, gets Goes a little bit lower against uh, the left side of the plate. Gets a little bit better versus the right. Pimentel, you know, progresses up. Contact versus lefties goes down. Power versus righties goes down. Speed goes up, and so does contact versus righties. Thomas Barnes Jr., the red shirt um, shortstop, goes up. Uh, plus 24 is contact. So that means he trained really hard here during his um, his uh, red shirt year. Rick Wright goes up. His contact versus righties goes up, plus 14. Power versus lefties goes up a little bit as well. Another red shirt freshman, Cordarius Albright. He trends up. Uriah Rice goes up. He's going to be a monster against righties. Plus 15 and plus 19 to his power of contact. Will Collins gets con plus, plus 15 contact versus lefties. Isaac Johnson goes up. Plus 18 power and plus 7 contact versus lefties. Plus 26 power and negative 8 contact versus righties. Kenneth Page gets better. Zaniga gets better. Plus 19 power to lefties. Alex Hunter gets worse, but, you know, he probably still have a spot. Rasheed Mack gets better. Seckle gets better. John Johnson gets better, plus 12 to his uh, stamina. Vincent Elisar goes down a little bit, but I really don't see where. Jake Jordan gets plus 10 to his stamina. Kubinek goes up. D'Angelo Brandon goes down in stamina, but he's a relief pitcher. Don't really care. His knuckleball goes up, plus 29. Dawson Howley somehow gets negative 17 to his stamina, which means he's going to 
definitely be moving to the bullpen full time here. Looking at the recruits we got coming in, third baseman, Dean Guerrero, 78 overall. He wants a 40% scholarship, first year promise. I'll give him 100%. Ooh, who do we have at third base? That's that's an even better question. Clevenger is our third baseman. So for right now, I'll give him 100 in the second year promise. Just because I don't know what we're going to do with Clevenger, he accepts that, okay? Sometimes you got to give him more. We got a pitcher coming in, Steven Knapp. He wants 70 in first year. I'll give him 70 first year starter because he will be starting first year. He accepts that one as well. And shortstop Anthony Mulder, he just wants a full scholarship, no promises. I'm all for that. Also, we got some walk-ons wanting to join the program. We got 264 overall catchers. Go ahead and add him to the squad. Add him to the squad, can never get enough arms. Another pitcher there. And then Danny Scobie, another third baseman, wants to walk on. And we'll even add the shortstop, Chad Arl, uh, just for some depth purposes. So these are all the people we got coming into the program. Yes, I understand that. So let's go ahead and add the catchers. Add, no, not him. We're going to add Guerrero, Scobie. Uh, we'll add Mulder, Nat. So we got our, um, our scholarship guys. The, the, the arms, we're gonna bring Arl in, and that's it. We got 27 out of the 30 players necessary for our current roster. That's a good look. So we hit all of our team goals this season. So we are going to improve every part of our pitching staff. So we moved to level two hitting coach. Let me get that. Level two pitching coach, let me get that. Level two fielding, let me get that. And then we move up to level three trainer. Definitely a good look there. We can move on from that. And here we are coming into the next season, projected to be the number one overall. So here we are coming in the next season, number one overall. We return a lot of players. You see how good our team is. B pitching, A minus hitting, A plus fielding, A speed. Um, taking a look at our um, taking a look at our depth chart here coming into this year. Uriah Rice is the lone seven field. <laughs> Uriah Rice is the lone left fielder. Isaac Johnson is going to start in right. <laughs> Isaac Johnson is going to start in center. Ozzy Zaniga is going to start in right. We have a battle at shortstop there between Barnes and Motor. Motor may get redshirted, um, or we can move him to second. We'll see how that how that works. Clevenger is still the better uh, third baseman. Our bull, I mean, our pitching staff is looking amazing with Johnson, Knapp, and Jordan. Rick Wright's the lone first baseman. Pimentel has some guys behind him at catcher, but nobody's really going to be giving him run for his money. And then we got D'Angelo Brandon and Mac as the lone uh, uh, relief pitchers, but we'll go ahead and change these other starters to relief pitchers. That way we can fully, you know, fill in the depth chart. Team goals for this next season. Two pitchers need to have 10 plus win, uh, 10 wins. We did that last year. Two players need to make first team All-American. We'll see what we can do. Qualify for a Super Regional. I believe we can get that done. And one player needs to have 55 season RBIs. Not sure if we had that happen yet. So I'm not sure if you guys realize yet or not. This is not the Seton Hall finale. But Seton Hall will be leaving the channel for a little bit. Probably until closer towards, you know, um, the NCAA baseball tournament next year. Or a little bit before. So, you know... You know, it's a lot of guys on the, on this team that we added that we want to be able to use. And we want to truly be able to make Seton Hall a dynasty, which means we need to be able to get to the College World Series and win multiple. That way we could be considered one of the best college baseball teams ever. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. The series will be back, baby. You guys got your wish. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.